Hey everyone, Faith Hiker here with Hike by Faith. When we go hiking or backpacking, there's no doubt we have gear. The question is, how much gear do we have? How much gear do you have? Do you find yourself buying the latest thing that comes out and then what you had ends up in the closet? That it ends up in storage somewhere? Well, today we're going to talk about gear. And if you have extra, what you can do with it. So a lot of exciting news for Hike by Faith that came out this weekend. Our first one is our new team member, Rick, also known as Local Raindrops. He brings a lot to the team. He's an experienced backpacker, hiker. He's been a gear reviewer. He is a ridge runner for Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail, so he comes with a lot of experience. One of his favorite times of the year to backpack is in the winter. He actually loves the snow and the cold. I know some of you out there don't, but he is a fan of winter camping and backpacking. The other thing about Rick that's interesting is he is a beast when it comes to his backpack. He is the only person I know personally that can carry a backpack of 60 plus pounds or more and seem to do it with ease. He will also backpack, if he's going for one night, he will also backpack in a complete course meal. I'm not surprised if he would put in his back an entire chicken and then roast it over the fire. That's Rick, and he is awesome, and we're glad to have him part of our team. Now, we talked about gear earlier and what you can do with that extra gear. We are excited and honored to be partnering with Gear Forward. This is an organization that is wanting to put gear into the hands of our younger generation who are less fortunate and may not be able to afford the gear to get outside and to promote the outdoors and backpacking and hiking. This is awesome, and we are excited to be a part of it. So how can you help? If you've got gear sitting around your house that you haven't used for a while, maybe you bought it last year, you use it for a little while, it's in great condition, and the latest and greatest thing came out and you bought something new and you tuck that other one in a case or a storage closet somewhere, guess what? We could use it. Matter of fact, we'd love to get that gear from you. But more importantly, what we also want from you, if you have that information, is to pass on the information to us and Gear Forward of any organizations, groups that you know of that can really benefit from this project that Gear Forward is doing. You can go to gearforward.org or you can go to hikebyfaith.com and get all the information you need about this project. We're excited because Teton Sports is a part of this. You can go to tetonsports.com. You can check out their Your Lead, uh, which is another awesome project. I'm loving this idea that they've come up with with Gear Forward. Basically, they're gonna be traveling the country in a van packed full of gear, delivering it to a younger generation of groups, organizations that can really benefit from this gear. We are just stoked about what they're doing, and we're looking forward to coming to our region and being a part of this whole project. So this is huge because we at Hike Bay Faith, what we're about is we want to give back. That's what all this is about. Hiking and backpacking, being outdoors in nature has benefited me greatly personally. I cannot express and tell you enough what it has done in my life and we just want to give back many people out there can benefit from getting outside and backpacking stepping away from the computer stepping away from the office disconnecting from technology get out there enjoy nature and hike by faith wants to give back and we're doing that by partnering with gear Ford, teton sports and your lead so check out all the information about that we'll bring you more updates and the things that are going on regarding this special project We'll leave you with this video from our friend Dane Kramer, also known as Sherpa, from his one night backpacking trip in the Laurel Highlands hiking trail this past weekend. Three inches of snow, 22, inch, uh, 22 degree <laughs> temperature. Uh, it's cold, chilly, but he had a fabulous weekend out there. And we're just going to leave you with a short clip of that trip right now. Head out. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful morning to walk out the snow. I uh, hope you can see it's just sort of just lightly falling. Um, and uh, it's just a gorgeous morning. Cold, but gorgeous. Maybe it'll flood the streets. Maybe when I tell you that I want you forever, I'm gonna make a fool of me. But I've got the windows down, a heater on my feet in the sky.